it'll come back to XCOM 2 Legendary Iron Man, the co-apocalypse run. I am pleased to welcome Chris back to the desk. Chris, we are at mission number five. Lost two missions, we won two missions. Uh, what's your take on the uh, run so far? Are we still standing a chance? Mind control is broken. <laughs> uh, that's that's my main <laughs> takeaway so far. I is think it, that is it working now? Over the most. Is it working now? Huh? Is the control working now? Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For now, it's working. We'll see if it works when the mission starts. That's but I'll try not to all tab out of it, and then hopefully that will be fine. Okay, perfect. Good. Guys, we're going to go in <laughs> with uh, Zirkim. Um, uh, I'm playing the support here. Uh, Chris is going to play the hard carries, uh, Roby, and our freshly um, recruited Inquisitor. Um, so he's playing the skirmisher class for the first time. And I just, for good measure, figured uh, we might put another rookie in. So, Mike the Public Bravo, you have been drafted. Uh, the difficulty is moderate. Chris and I know that that means uh, we're in a pretty, uh, we're up for a pretty rough mission. But as always with um, supply missions, uh, there is a uh, it is a huge risk versus reward. If we manage to pull it off, that means we would get a lot of Elarium, alien alloys, and monies, uh, which is exactly what we need at this point. Let's jump right into the mission and see what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. And I will put myself on mute just one second so that Chris cannot hear me anymore. That has been done right now. And uh, Chris, I is can indeed not hear him anymore, but I am also happy to report that my controls are not working, um, I believe. So let's see if I can like press two or something. Uh, let's just move you around. I will just take the first move so that Chris is going to be okay. Um, and I'll yeah, and I like it's not reacting to my input. So let me just use this opportunity to click on it a little bit. Now it works again. What a weird thing. Okay, yeah, it's, we had a quick look at the abilities real quick, so you can shoot twice. Okay, yes, yes, you are a very, very good ex-alien. All right, um, do we actually see the supply crates? Yes, we do. One. Okay. Um, looks like we're moving this way. That's fine with me. Um, let's move you to... Um, yeah, there. Of course, he doesn't we know, like but we cover. take the high ground normally. Um, nothing. Okay. Just quickly checking. Where's this grappling hook thingy here? So you could go like up here. That is. Oh, you actually go in. Nah, that seems like a bad idea. Um. Does it say how much cooldown this thing has? Does not? Okay. Um, for the moment, let's just go through this building. Up here. Quick. Overwatch. And we have him still here. Oh, he's. We do the same. He's playing it very defensively. I like it. So let's try to give him some input and see if he reacts to it. Beat, beat. Good. I'm not sure if he's going to join us up there, but it would be the right thing to do. Let's see if Chris realizes it and um, also tries to move up. His idea with grappling up was spot on, so it would have been the right uh, thing, but he 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 does he didn't want to yep. do anything wrong. We are back. It seems like I still have a bit of uh, PTSD from those uh, from those aliens last mission. Oh, that's dangerous. For a moment, I'll take some pointers and move forward. I would guess there could uh, be something in this room that we're currently not seeing. My bad, my so bad. So we're only going to move to... Like here. I think that should be okay. That was my bad. He was not aware that this is breaking concealment. We're in their sights. I have the worst luck with this. 
Nah, it was my bad. Um, I blocked his only passage. This is revealed. I guess that was because I went through the window. That was exactly it. Okay, well, next game. Um, how did you get in there? You'll need to explain that to me later. Um, do we have two floors to work with or just one? Yeah, just that one. Okay. The problem is now we that we're being revealed. Um, okay. We're these stairs, so we can like shoot everything down from up here and then go down. That seems reasonable. Now let's try this grappling hook thing out then. So, as far as I can tell, nothing's in here. Let's go to aggro it. So, let's go up there. Okay. Move to here, and then uh, take a quick uh, delay as you move your guys. Good. The big problem is we're running out of time. We got to get that, and we now do have um, a bit of a problem with our timer. So let's move in without pulling something. And I'm trying to do the exact same down here, just to not lose too much time by going further. We're overwatching and overwatching. So roughly what I'm gathering is we now have several people in Overwatch that can't actually shoot into this area. So I feel like moving up to the window would be a terrible idea right now. So instead, I'm just going to follow suit yeah we uh, he read the situation very very well we're being in a bit of a tough spot here as the crates are already marked hey yeah. So we have, that's your character, sorry, before I move your stuff. Let's stay to mine. I think that should be a decent position. Shoot down if necessary. Also just about his full movement rage, which gives us absolutely no line of sight on anything. Uh, that's disappointing. And they are already removing the crates that we kind of want. So. I hope he does not I'll watch now. with you. And then we're going to go have a look with this one. To see. So, yeah. Looks like two rounds cooldown on that thing. Can we actually see much through this one? I wish I could tell, but I can't. Getting into full so cover is not bad here. We're just going to move you up here. Still absolutely nothing. Okay. I'll watch again. Up to you. Good. We're going to follow his lead. We don't want to trigger too many enemies. The mission is successful if we're hit, uh, getting at least one crate. The problem that we're... Ah, yes. The classic wall bang of XCOM. The problem that we're facing is we might not even get that one crate. And it certainly doesn't help that we're being in a situation where we're even missing on those shots. Nice right. shooting and already promoted. So now two crates are taken off. We gotta speed that up without being reckless. 
I suppose. Good news is there is not going to be any um, chosen on this mission. Um, quite the opposite. We're going to we're we're going to fight only um, Advent. But we've lost our concealment very early on due to me um, giving the wrong pointer. And now we've triggered yet another pack. Let's see what how, how Chris is going to deal with the the newly upcoming threat here. No Overwatch in those two, so I'd like to believe that should be an easy uh, takedown. Now the question that poses itself to me is where the hell are all the other crates? I guess they only get revealed when you get close enough to them. Um let's see. We have one grenade here, and I feel like there might be a bit of a waste dealing with those guys. So what I really would like to do is do something cool with this guy, but we don't have the grappling hook anymore. <laughs> um, if we go here, that's just a normal line of sight. As far as I understand things, we can just be super aggressive. And this flanks only the weaker guy, while this could flank the one in front. Um, but we would only have one shot. And for some reason, they don't actually show you the damage when you hover over a weapon. It's inexplicable to me why you wouldn't see that. <laughs> I'm sure there's an add-on, a mod there somewhere. Um, all right. So that re doesn't really work. This doesn't flank him either. Um, mm -hmm. The right and play here would be to use a grenade to remove all of the cover and might just also be an option. get them down. Um, can I hit somebody that is in cover with that uh, ripjack thingy, I wonder? Because that would be a pretty big, big move. The answer is yes, he could. Let's move down here. Aggressive movement, I like it. He's a playmaker. That's my man. All right. Now, this is the pull thingy. 53%. Yeah. So that is affected by cover as well. In that case, you're better off just shooting that guy. I wouldn't shoot if I was him. I would use the grenade. You take a shot. Also, he doesn't deal a lot of damage with his shots, I gotta say. Alternative. Oh, cool. This is seems to be indestructible terrain. This is a particularly fortified part of the building, apparently. It's not. It's... That you can't actually get rid of. Also, I straight up can't see what I'm affecting or not affecting here. Um, yeah, not sure if I'm missing something here. No, you're Let doing... me He's doing quickly well. see what else we can do. That's uh, our other guy. This one should be pretty easy to take out, I believe. The one in cover, a bit difficult. I would like to see if it's any different for his grenade. The correct uh, placement would be hmm. exactly where he just hovered over. Up here. And we then don't really have anything on the high ground that we could go to. So. You have no way of flanking that guy. You don't. Yeah, I feel I want to see if you can take out the uh, one guy that I'm currently flanking. Go from there. So give me your two turns, please. All right. So Chris is handing it over to me. I will, uh, of course, um, do him the favor of showing him how to do this here which is moving over using the grenade and removing the cover. That's cheating. For you, it looks destructible. What is this? <laughs> well, well, that's such BS. <laughs> uh, yeah, let me let me quickly take the turn then. Because uh, with with the cover destroy destroy your build, let me put it this way. The intention would be to basically uh, pull that guy in, but it's only four damage. Uh, this guy's damage makes me very sad. Um, 
a case. Just to be fair, I am supposed to act like first whenever possible. So we're going to do that. Um, I'll move him down here, I believe. Or that would be an can you shoot him from here? here? No. That would be an excellent And he move. currently doesn't have a line of sight either. I'm trying to see. There's no line of sight anywhere. So, uh, yeah, immediately drop down from high ground to take one guy out because I do believe we needed three shots in total. And that's all of them. So, yeah, down here. See if we get a. Uh, I gotta say, Chris really gets. I guess it, right? potentially a critical hit on the uh, guy in the back there. Whoops. One sec. This one, seventy-three percent, and then figure it out from there. Just don't miss. All right. Thank you. Robbie rocked it. Good job. Beginner's luck, as they say. Okay. Um. Once again, I don't know what the cooldown on this thing is, but as far as I recall, melee attacks are bad against the Lost, which are coming in right now, so most likely a good idea to do that. He already moved, so I can't really do the double action thingy, so let's just get rid of him. And then let you do whatever you please. It would be there easier to like go. just pull him into your weapon instead of pulling him in and then like stepping back and then stabbing him. Just, just saying. Anyway, up to you. Nice one. Chris did really well this turn. So we're taking a small move with uh, Zirkim and we're just going to overwatch. Of course, our Overwatch is just like it always had, uh, always had been, and that's probably going to obstruct us from getting the next crate. That's a lot. Not seeing that's that, a whole lot. Not seeing that Chris is having the um, oh, there's even the more. aggressiveness to go in there. That's not going to happen. We really could have used our alien friends here to like interact with those guys a little bit. Uh yeah, that was that was a lot of bodies that came out there. Sadly, I can't really tell if they were on this side of the container or in this little uh, pathway. Um let's let's do a suicide run with our guy to get that. After all, it's it's your character, I think, that I had selected <laughs> just now. Um so let me think. Uh, he can take several shots. I'm not sure how that interacts with the whole headshot thing, and if it actually gives him the initial action back as well. Yeah, it does, it does. In which case, it would be best to just start shooting from here. No, the high ground, Chris. Take the high chance is decent. Um, because then he could shoot, 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 then actually use his first action to reload and then keep shooting. Uh, can I quickly get a confirm or a deny if that's how that works? That would be great. I'm unmuting my microphone really quick. Chris, that is correct. You would get your first action back. I'm muted okay, again. Well, that's probably what I'll do. Just shoot from that position until out of ammo. Um, so yeah, that's what we'll do. Unfortunately, I seem to have lost control again, so that's fantastic. If you can uh, quickly like select the targeting thingy, yeah, just shoot that first guy, and then I'll wildly click to hopefully get back control. Thank you very much. Yep, looks like it is working now. Good stuff. 66%, we probably don't want to deal with that guy now. Let's take you next. All right. And then... Yeah, we really only have these two targets available, so let's have a look. Fantastic. So now we reload, and then we still have our uh, shooty action to go. Um, we could also quickly reposition with the grappling hook, which I think might be a good idea, considering this guy is all the way in the front, and we might get a bonus on hitting this little bastard. 
Uh, who is... What is this? What the hell? Is that a mannequin or... Yeah, it must be a mannequin. Okay. That confused me for a second. Uh, I would hope going over here is relatively safe and won't add any additional uh, aliens to this uh, beautiful little uh, fight. So uh, <laughs> let's smack on that and go I over here. I love it how, how careful he's playing. He just doesn't want As to As usual, what could go thing. wrong? Not much, apparently. Okay. Uh, several dashers and this guy. Um, all things considered, I really just want to keep shooting the uh, mooks. Three of them. We could also throw a grenade to get rid of them as well, but we're going to start with the low HP ones. It's still a guarantee to die with one shot, and unfortunately that's the miss. So no more shots with him. Uh, Robbie or Roby uh, gets to go as well. I have no clue what the movement range on this thing is. Um, I am very tempted to just throw a grenade there and like drop him down and then leave these guys to you, but that's a lot of guys. <laughs> um, so I fear like that might not be an option. I do see a nice high ground here, so we're definitely going to take that. Now he blocked me from the high ground. Oh no! <laughs> not the greatest gun to be using for this. <laughs> uh, one thing I'm wondering about... Well, two things I'm wondering about. First and foremost, can I get to the guys in the back? It looks like the answer is no. And second is, if I throw a grenade, does it attract even more of them immediately? Yes. Considering they're like sounds. Uh, I love Chris's thoughts based. here. He is on. Oh, we'll never spot. find out. 90% um, hit chance on this guy, potentially taking all the one, way down to one hit point. That seems like a pretty good deal, I gotta say. Um, probably the best to a chance that any soldiers will... Oh. Yeah. Shame. Shame that we don't have any ammo. Um, so yeah, one shot here and the next round reload and just blast as much as you can. Seems the most reasonable. That you go ahead. Pretty good. Let's see. I would want to go here, but that does not work. So... Might as well take steps into the open. We're trying to get as many of them down as possible. Trying to stay somewhat out of range for them. Yeah, but without the high ground bonus, that was unfortunately a big fat miss. Uh, I couldn't have gone to a high ground where Chris uh, was uh, staying with Roby because uh, he will need to reload and therefore cannot move next turn. So. That grappling animation is almost comical when they grab the supply crates away <laughs> from you. That is true. I love it how he's like those it. shitty claws in those arcade machines, except this one apparently always manages to get the stuff out. <laughs> he's on spot with uh, his uh, UI um, criticism as well with uh, as with his uh, graphical observations. That's true. Good. We're we're still in a uh, pretty. A Very convenient situation. for the rating boards that their genitals have rotted away. Well, we got ourselves the first injury. Okay. Uh, I was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Still shit, but not quite as bad as I thought it was going to be. 100%, 90%, 90-90, that's, that's pretty nice odds, i got to, got to say that. So, I feel like the high ground paid off after, after all. So, yeah, let's start working on those guaranteed hits. The 
Did I just shoot the big guy, or did he disappear? I didn't pay attention, my bad. The big guy is below him, but he's probably... Another one down. Reload. I seem to recall there was a mod for uh, free reload, so that might be useful. Oh, now I can see him all the way down there, the cheeky bastard. There you are. I recognize that HP bar. <laughs> um, someone else can deal with you. Um... Talking about someone else, for sure we will need to reload on him. Since uh, our guy here still has a full mag, we're going to quickly see what we can do with him. Let's see what his hit chances are. 93, 90, so he actually has higher chances right now than our hero class, so we're going to keep going with him. Uh, 4 to 6, so that's a guaranteed kill. Let's cleared away for you for now. The uh, 3 HP one should be a guaranteed kill. Chris is carrying your it. Gun, so I'm going to leave that one for you. But we're going to see if we can take out any of the ones around the corner here, since those might be a bit harder for you to reach. And then uh, let's hope that we don't hit that 10% mischance. Um, oh, neat. Got an Ability point. Let's take out this one. Yeah, so far that's pretty decent. Now we can either reroll or throw a grenade. Again, I'd love to throw a grenade at these guys, but I still feel like they might just add more loss, so reload it is. Then let's get this guy and finish our shots with him. Let's see, especially interested in, uh, in the ones around corners, but I guess this one will do. Exactly, that really shouldn't be possible to miss. Um, 88, 86, 81, so yeah, we just go in order. I mean, I expect this guy to have ammo issues. I didn't think we would run into them this fucking quickly. Sorry for swearing. <laughs> there we go. Reload, and that's my two guys done. That was okay. pretty decent, I think. Let's see. Zirkem took a little tiny hit. I think we're going to be okay for now. Moving into cover. We already know that the next pack is right here. We've seen them, so that's a big, a big problem. Uh, we got to be careful. Good. Zirkim overwatches and mic reloads let's see if we can get the last one did you just cheekily show me that you can see the supply crates even though they are not marked no it was the last pack hopefully he didn't hmm. take that as a marking to go there well, i hope this one hits the beauty of non-verbal communication <laughs> I have no idea what just happened, uh, but I'm uh, glad that nothing happened because I thought that green thing was going to murder one of my guys. All right. So now I do wonder, can I actually see any... Oh, yeah, these are the two, and these are not the ones that are marked, so this seems like a, a great chance for us to get one of these two crates. Then, if we do make enough uh, headway, let's see, no grappling hook, uh, no melee thingy, so first thought, run as far forward as we can. And then uh, next turn, we do have the grappling hook, we can get like up here, potentially overview the area. Seems like a decent idea, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm a bit worried about aliens being over here and not just the lost. Well, if that He's were clever. the case, we I would be kind of wasting clever. 
our turn because we'd have to move again. But uh, yeah, that's what we'll do. I'll move him here. Wait a second. Like, I see this guy. I expect to have a line of sight on him if I go down here, but it doesn't actually show. Even if I move in, so I'm just going to assume that's a, a little issue with the uh, with the presentation in the UI. This should be an obvious line of sight for the shot, so I'm just going to trust in that. Go down there. And then, indeed, uh, be able to take a shot. Um, that was a bit weird. It seems like a very obvious thing to not mess up in your UI, but whatever. Maybe there was a reason for it. Um, leave him there for now. Uh, he still has a shot. We can shoot or we can reload, depending on if we reveal anything. Um, and I think it's time to move him out of cover. Just move the maximum distance we can. Potentially reveal something as we do it. Does not seem to be the case. Uh, I would like to overwatch, but at the same time, I feel like we really need to make some, some distance to actually make it all the way to Supply Crowd next round. So I do want to run all the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly... Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to quickly let uh, you go, Saiken. And I will move him all the way forward, unless you run into an alien pack before I do. All right, that's an idea. And how about I will support him with that? It seems like we are of one mind in regards to this, so that's good. Good. I'm passing on to Chris again. Let's okay. hope he understands that. I'll we keep shall the, move. I'll all keep the way aid protocol here. so that he. Well, advanced tactics now, guys. Um, and then with <laughs> our other friend, we still have two shots. Sure, surely that's good enough. Surely we don't need any more ammo. I want to run here. I do wonder if I manage to reveal something if I do. So we're going to be super, super safe. We're going to go here instead. All right. That's a good idea. I think Sirkim does not necessarily need to heal himself. We're just going to overwatch him. That's fine. The specialist is usually not the one dictating the tempo. It's rather the one staying a bit back. And it would have been wasteful to heal for one hit point. But we are close to the crates, so, believe it or not, we can maybe get our first uh, crate. And maybe he now understands that I was trying to signal that there is a pack. Looks like I potentially dodged a bullet with that movement. Potentially. He did indeed. The right play is to use a grenade and trigger the lost. Yeah, of course they appear after we reveal the aliens. So we get to clean up the aliens, and then the lost will appear. Great timing, guys. Great timing. So glad the cavalry is coming. <laughs> um, so there's no markings yet on the crates. So we have two turns, I guess, before these two or any other two crates are gone. He's looking right. at our movement options. Let's quickly check. This is actually our jumpy guy. Um, we don't have great cover as far as our... <laughs> we have no cover up here. Yikes. Okay, you can go over here, but can you go to here? You don't seem to be able to. Oh, we can go into the windows. That might actually be a good idea. That is an excellent idea. I hope he's taking it. That gives us a flank on one guy and nobody else. And that seems to be one of the soldiers. Uh, which one, though? This guy? Yes, the actual That's on the alien symbol. Oh, this one. That is one option we have right now. Uh, doesn't look like they are close enough together for a grenade, but I will check. Because I do love me grenades. That was a terrible accent. Nope. <laughs> just, just barely getting denied there. 
some damage on the sectoid, dealing damage, but I really want to take out this Stambaton, Stambaton guy, because I got pretty lucky last time around not to get split by him. So, grenade, get rid of the cover, let people move in. Take out the soldier probably as well with a flank from your guys, and then uh, most likely the sectoid next turn. Seems like a decent choice. Let's see if we can uh, move forward. Yeah, we can actually move pretty close. And we'll actually be very close to crate two next round. So, I like it. Is that within one? Yeah, cool. So next round we could go in there with one movement and get it. So as long as there's nothing around this corner waiting for us, we should be okay. Friggin' hell! Please, <laughs> <laughs> classic, classic legs. Mm -hmm. I see. Wait, it showed me cover. What the heck? I will tell him real uh, quick. Uh, watch yourself. Real quick, uh, just intervening, Chris. You are exactly where you've moved your character. Um, it is just a graphical bug. Whenever that happens, completely ignore it. It's a known XCOM bug. Just pretend he is at the location. It's just a visualization bug. Going back, yeah. uh, going back into it. Oh. That was that gave me a fright. That is uh, not so great. Um. I can't control it again because uh, no uh, thingy. So yeah, make one movement with one of your guys and then I'll go back to my actions. I will move all the way up to here. Okay, looking like a madman. Make sure I can uh, control stuff again. Yeah, it looks fine. Okay. What the hell? <laughs> oh, wait, we have two flanks. We have uh, one on him. We don't want to shoot him, though. Ah, and uh, this guy makes sense. Okay, so the target preview is screwed as well, so it gives me, like, two rows. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, but the grenade comes from here. Hmm. Hmm. Is it going to screw me over if I shoot it from here? I guess we'll find out. Um, it shows him as like losing all his health. I I don't feel good about this at all. That's the right. Uh, play, also, Chris. we probably don't want to destroy all the cover we might use afterwards. So, like this, don't shoot into a wall, please. Well, he just triggered an entire. Holding my breath here. Okay, the visual bug does extend to the trajectory of the grenade. And the grenade does call a swarm. Fantastic. It is on, well, guys. It is it on! All right. As far as I know, they do attack each other. I do wonder if they just, like, attack you unless there's any other target nearby. Uh, unless you're not uh, available <laughs> as a potential target. So what did we want to do with this guy? We wanted to go all the way up and then shoot the now coverless guy. So that's what we're going to do still. But what we might do before we shoot him is we might see if we can take a few pot shots at the lost first. This is only lost within line of sight. Why? Thought we had a clear line of sight on this guy. Uh, He'll figure just it out. Just gonna assume that's another visual bug Maybe because he currently can't see him. And we're gonna go up here either way. Good choice. You better be able to hit that guy. He made a good choice. Yes, they are. Okay, cool. Also, nice. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Actual chances three to four damage, so I'm not shooting anything with four hit points, I'm only shooting stuff with three. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I'll go all the way through again and yeah, so with this one, that's fine. Take a shot at him. Close to 90% hit chances. Kind of need to take to, to weed out the field. If we do miss that one, I'll, I'll call that bullshit. Obviously, it wasn't my fault. Um, 81, 81 still. Uh, one more, reload, 
One sec. We still have two actions, yes, that's good. Very tempted to shoot one of the four HP ones, but I really don't want to uh, lose the action. So, this one it is, and then we'll reload and take a shot. Hopefully At he the goes. big boy. Oops. Hopefully he goes for the stun lancer. Let's click there. This guy, 94% hit chance and 40% crit chance. Seems like pretty decent odds. But we do need a crit to actually take him out. So 40% chance to kill. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Oh, Up to you now. Good. We gotta take the stun lance out. There's just no way around it. Perfect. Moving up uh, with Zirkim. And let's see if we can get the Lost Dasher down. Unfortunately, not enough damage. Uh, let's see what the enemy is doing. Uh, they will uh, deal with the loss at least por uh, partially. Doesn't feel threatened at all by the zombies. Oh, and more mind control! <laughs> <laughs> All right, they should shoot at the lost, uh, so we should be fine. And there's only one loss that could reach um, Zirkim. Yeah, we're in a tough spot. But Chris they is managing... better beat up the aliens. Chris is managing very well. Okay, two of them are full of crap, but not quite as bad as I thought it could be. Did he just throw shit at us? <laughs> <laughs> Melee vulnerability. Mealy vulnerability. That was on the uh... sector.